Last week, we had a chat to Palestinian-Australian playwright Samar Sabawi. She's written a play that was on at La Mama, and she's had it published also as a book, and it's been picked up for the VCE syllabus. The members, Some members of the Jewish community were outraged. The play is set in Gaza. Samar Sabawi says it's a love story, but there were some people in the Jewish community who said, no, it's an anti-Israel tirade. They complained to the Education Minister and James Molino, the State Education Minister, has ordered the Victorian Curriculum and Assessment Authority to review the way it selects texts for VCE English. Now, there are complaints that this is indeed amounting to censorship. Indeed, the complaint is being sent towards my next guest. Dvira Abramovich is chair of the B'nai B'rith Anti-Defamation Commission, one of the leading lobby groups from Melbourne's Jewish community. Dr Abramovich, good morning to you. Good morning, John. Good to be with you. Now you're being accused of censorship for asking that the selection of this play be reviewed. Well, I'm not sure how the word censorship go into the mix, John, apart from the fact that it makes good copy, but it completely misrepresents the situation and the facts. And just to correct you, we're not a lobby group, we're a human rights and civil rights group. When we broke the story that this blatant anti-Israel, and I would argue anti-Jewish play, was chosen to be on the VC drama list, um, you know, we never called for it to be removed, we didn't approach the Minister for Education, we didn't lodge a complaint. We're not in the business of censorship. We're about generating community discussion and ensuring that no Victorian student is the victim of hatred or discrimination of bigotry. So what we did was to question how the Victorian Curriculum Assessment Authority could select a play that in our view ferments hostility and incites to hatred against one religious and cultural group. And it does so by depicting Israelis, and we would argue by extension Jews, as cold-blooded genocidal murderers who are hell-bent on killing Palestinians and wiping them out for no apparent reason. OK, now the Middle East conflict is never out of the news. People get their information from multiple sources and any number of different ways and places and means. So what harm is done by getting students studying these delicate issues to hear different points of view from different contributors rather than trying to say this is the views that you should all get. These are the views. This is the perspective you should all adopt. Well, first of all, uh, we would argue that the VC system should not be co-opted as a potent weapon by anybody who wants to corrupt the hearts and minds of VC students who deserve better. We don't believe that... Correct, that in which case, well, let them read the play and well, give them a counter-narrative so they make up their yeah. own minds. Well, the play, in our view, uh, peddles some dangerous classic anti-Semitic themes by associating so Jews... So point that out, let well, the children learn about it and explain why you're not happy with it. John, one of the criteria for selecting plays is that uh, it reflects community standards and expectations. And we would argue that when parents send their kids to school... They don't expect them to be placed in a hostile and toxic environment whereby they feel unsafe or uncomfortable among their classmates, that they have to defend their religion and be ashamed or afraid to admit that they have any connection to another country. And when we see students come out of this one-sided play that really provides no historical context or otherwise is an unvarnished anti-Israel propaganda, they would come out hating Israelis and hating anybody who has connection to that country. But and Devere, I don't... yet again we go through the confusion. One can be extremely supportive of the state of Israel and its right to exist and the right of the Jewish community worldwide to make it their home, whilst at the same time being quite critical of the government of the day and its policies. Sure. Just because one criticises the Australian government, it doesn't make you someone who is disloyal or treasonous towards Australia. John, it's obvious that you haven't read the play because we have no problem with industrial strength criticism of Israeli policies. We do it ourselves. What we have is a, a problem with a play who actually promotes anti-Semitic myths who actually, when students come out of the play, they will feel this inevitable rage because they, they've seen gun-wrenching scenes of blood and gore. And what will be fixed in their minds is that the immoral and faceless Israelis and Jews kill Palestinians just for fun or out of sheer evil. Okay. I mean, they will be justified. When students come out of this play, John, they will be justified hating any one of the Jewish faith 
anyone who has links to Israel. This is not a community standard. This is not about criticizing the policies of the Israeli government. And this is not what multicultural, inclusive, tolerant Victoria is about. OK, well, that's certainly the issue that's being discussed, and now it's being even more widely discussed. Thank you for giving us the B'nai B'rith Anti-Defamation Commission's perspective on it this morning. Devira Abramovich, who chairs the organisation. Speaking of censorship...